Alright, hello everybody, this is Demon coming back for another round of Season 1 of The Walking Dead. So we ended the previous episode, uh, we found a group of survivors hiding what they said inside a abandoned hospital uh, on the lower floors. Um, luckily, we were able to meet them, we got in, we saw them, and now we're going to attack Crawford. Unluckily though, as a result of us being trapped inside the sewers after leaving the riverfront, we found that Chuck died, so unfortunately we no longer f will have Chuck as a companion throughout the rest of the game. Now I think he dies no matter what, there's nothing you can really do. No decisions, choices, actions that you take in the game have an impact. He will die there no matter what. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy. What the hell on this was going on, Ben? Nice. I'll take Can I the talk to you a minute. Can I have the hatchet? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30 footer. So? So, we're going to have a capacity problem. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, there ain't going to be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Dab, dab, dab. Clams on the run. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... I'm not leaving her alone in the house with only Omi to protect her. It's just not happening. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Kenny supports us. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> oh, nice hatchet. No, I don't think I like it, though. If I was going to go for a classic, I'm going to go for a, col or a hatchet. I'm going to go for a classic look. I want the wooden handle, and I just want to yeet on somebody. <laughs> That's just me, though. I mean, I don't know if anybody else gets that opinion in there. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need. And we get the hell out before we get, anyone even knows we're there. We get Got the, it. We get the yeet out. And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. All right. Let's start this shit. Oh, yeah, I got it. All right. Let's go. It's surprisingly quiet. Is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak out, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Let's yeet him. Oh, wait. Uh, let's dab on him. What the fuck? Oh. Bad. Well, that's a walker. Is a walker doing inside here? Oh. Get inside, fast! Oh, I see why there's a walker in here. <laughs> run, 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 run. Sauce. 
I don't think so. I think we're good, for now at least. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than our guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? God damn it, man. Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Come on. Ben Stiller had Robert Downey Jr. do a better thing than that. Well, I guess the X means the walker's inside, so don't screw with the door. Wonder how many's in there. Just keep moving. It's actually a really good thing that I wonder. It's hey. like, how many are in there? How many walkers are possibly in that one room that they sealed off? Because I really want to know what happened to this place. It's actually kind of cool thinking about it. It's Looks like this okay. Everybody in. Oh, the place seems pretty. Oh my god, is that anomaly? God damn it. Figures. Tell me you locked the door, you know where you gonna get in here. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Surprisingly enough, the command center is what's alive. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Hmm. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? So then we just need a battery. All we know is something. Auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. I'll never understand why she just stands there and looks at you. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? <laughs> You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. To be totally I honest, Clem at this point has more reliance than goddamn Ben. <sighs> the Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. 
Not that it matters much now, I guess. God bless America. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Okay. However, Command HQ Armory records. It seemed like whatever door we passed up, it might have been the records of the library. That's where the walkers were at. Intriguing. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. I like eating crayons. They make me feel smart. Hopscotch. Oh, the days of old. TV. No yeah. power. No TV. Aww, but TV. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. What kind of reading material? It's history material? Creepy. So we screwed the dolls. Jesus. What else is here? Can I talk to Ben? Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? You're plenty useful. Huh, yeah, right. Seems like all I ever do is get us into trouble. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. He will kill you. Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling I'm him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real. Real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Look, we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself. For the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. See, I'm okay with Ben telling him. I'm just like, why are you gonna do it now? We need Kenny at his best, not his worst. Like quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Oh God. What is this? Initials of person conducting search. Days since outbreak. Number of walkers found, number of ineligible citizens found, number of citizens brought to Crawford. Holy Christ. What a you solution. Okay, yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. It's not weird at all. So do I. You haven't been in school since forever. Hey, I'm not that old. And I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Do you think things will ever be normal you again? Say. Just like the way they were before? I don't know, Sweet Pea. But we all have to believe they will. Remember what Katja said back on the farm? She said we'll all be home soon. And now she's dead. But we're not. We're still alive. And we have to keep hope alive, too. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Oh, I want to see. I just really, really would love to see Kenny go off on Ben because Ben's I an idiot. I wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Yeah, that's actually the funny thing. They never discussed that. Is just it only America things. that gets affected by this, or is the rest of the world getting affected by it? It's kind of like the coronavirus in China right now. See, the Chinese are dealing with it. We only deal with the problems that they sent us. Oh. I would not be surprised if the Chinese were not <laughs> not getting screwed right now with that. On the other hand, it is China, so I mean, 
Mass extermination is probably on their forte of things they probably have been doing over there at this point in time, at least in the Walking Dead series. As soon as the walkers started, they probably just want ham. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Say, say hello, Stalin. How are you be? At least not one not. Yeah, yeah, it sounds about right for a bunch of idiots. All right. Empty lock. The alleyway to the auto shops down here. Nothing. You coming or not? I mean, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. I got things I'm doing. And dress room. Locked. Uh, didn't need to use the bathroom anyway. I'm assuming it's gonna be locked, Lee. What the hell was that? They've already been fired. They're worthless. Tell that to Jesus. Shell casings all over. Whatever happened here wasn't good. Anyone else is here? I think these are just the yeah, the same stuff. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. I ah, just gotta the dumbass. Can't open it without the combination. Oh, I wonder what these guys are doing. What up? You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Okay. Good luck to everybody else. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna go this way and go with Molly. There's a lot of X's on those doors. Jesus. Uh, but I'm actually gonna stop this right here. I'm gonna go... I'll be back in one second. I gotta go take care of something. So, jump cut. Alright, I'm back guys. Sorry for the jump cut. Had used the restroom very badly. The door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. Where the hell is Molly? Uh, no, Molly, she can be anywhere. Although I do have a goal of finishing Molly, this episode today. You out here? I must continue on with the mission. Yes, I'm not going that way. Alright, although this episode I might just keep playing through it until I finally finish it. Um, just because I was unsure where I actually stopped at on time. I might have been, I don't know, maybe 10-15 minutes in. What the hell is Molly doing back there? 10 quartz litters will be shot on site. Yeesh. Barbed wire. It'll be dab. Climbing the fence isn't an option. Well, climbing their fence isn't an option, so let's go in here. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. I would not in a million years climb on that bitch. <laughs> Don't worry. Lee is good. Lee is good. Let's go and try to open this garage door. Damn, it's jammed tight. I'll jam you tight. Well, I don't think there's really much else I can do in this situation. Ah, oh, crap. Better not get too close. Some walkers over there. That's unfortunate. Yeet. Damn. Leave him! He's mine. What were you doing up there? Molly going He's ham. Medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Molly pissed. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh, yeah. That'll work. 
Uh, Lady Molly, we gotta hurry. Hurry, hurry. Like, quit staring at him for five seconds. Walkers be coming. Our boy's still alive. Me personally, I would have kicked that. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. All right, so our boys aren't here. I don't know if Molly can add it. Need? What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Jesus. What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. Yeah. So yeah. why did you decide to help us? I told you, I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? I'm going to have a look around. You do that. I always do that, because I'm Lee and I am Jeebus. Can I open the hood? Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Looks well, like Crawford had their own semi trucks. Uh, excuse me, Lee. That is not a semi. This is a semi. Semi hungry. <laughs> it wants its battery. It's gonna about to go damn ham on a bitch. <laughs> I love semis. That blinking must be an anti theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. All right. Um, warning Lord sign. Crawford's rules. Court of oil and rations for Crawford's like this. Two months, no exceptions. Make it take my chances on the outside. Man, court of oil ain't bad, considering the fact he had none to begin with. It's Hooters. locked. No way in. Crap. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Hmm. No power. All right. So the last of the power was for that. So I gotta go get something off her. Hey Molly. Something you need? How about you your thingy? Know that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I'm pretty sure she's got enough scratches. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Well, what's she supposed to use if the tings get in the ting? So I gotta do the ting here. I would not have done that in a million years. I went, oh yeah, this is a good idea. Then I would have went, oh good, it's coming down. It. Good, nice. But it's not controlled. Whoa. That's probably not good. No shit! Why are you standing every arm's crossed? I'm not trying to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Screw it. Move it. Got that one off. That one. Take that one off. It's off. Take the battery. Fine. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Okay. Move your ass. Okay. I hurry. Come now. You don't let me die. Oh, I see my phone. Great. Now what? Skylight. Oh. 
this point we got nothing to lose. Molly, thank you. See, my is still hungry. How the hell did they even get that truck in there? Now we're on a roof. You ever stop complaining? No. What fun would there be if I didn't complain? I'm actually surprised there's not survivors on the rooftops and stuff. Only that one guy was on a roof. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Yeah, I'm a bit of a pussy myself. <laughs> Funny thing is, if you don't make it, he just falls down, crushes it, gets his head smacked off the ground, and he gets eaten. It's kind of sad, but it's hilarious at the same time. Come on, I'm big. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly. Damn it! What the hell is she doing? She's going to class. Is there anything over here I gotta deal with? No, they're still not in. Okay, that's fine. Well, there's nothing really else to do besides head back to class and see how everybody be do. How ye be do. Little help here! Little bastards. This is my door. My door. My door. Please do something! Oh, I gotta do this thing again, god damn it. Yeah. Got a hold? <laughs> Damn well better. There's so many of them. You got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. I'm surprised they're not more concerned with the glass being like that. You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. All right. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened lost my whole family i'm the only one who survived funny how things work out huh yeah the cancer survivor is the one that made it jesus knows that's fucking hilarious situation it's good irony in there it. too many awful memories even being back here gives me a bad feeling even now with everyone dead i got no sympathy for what happened to these people they weeded out the sick and the old even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I've seen, you'd feel the same. I mean... How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Okay. I mean, we got the battery. I just gotta wait for Molly to come back. If anything, we gotta go talk to Lee or Kenny and Ben. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. 
She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? <laughs> Kenny is such a dick. <laughs> you okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run in air. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. Where else are you gonna go, Lee? That's why I don't mind bringing Clem with us, because she doesn't really do anything. She just sits there and she's good. That's why, because uh, if that's why I said if you look at it from the point of view, she left the mansion anyway, and headed there to the riverfront. It's like, why would you not take her with you? It's like, you know she's going to follow you. Would you rather her uh, follow and get attacked while you're not there? Or would you rather have her with you? What the hell are you guys? Sounds like there's a shit ton of walkers out there. There's actually not that many. At least from what we can see here. I mean, these guys aren't that tough. I mean, if you just, you can probably control kill them. Bring him up in group, stab him in the head, get in, get out, get in, get out. That's what I would've been doing. Well, I mean, that's just me. Oh. Shit. Damn. It's your boy, Walker BG. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Alright. Time to take the shot. Oh, yeah. Dead. 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 <laughs> the flip of a little switch of the mouse key and magically dead, 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 dead. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Crap. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Maybe we should try looking somewhere else for medicine. In Crawford? This place is too overrun. No, that safe is our best chance. Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Oh, jeez. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Hey, <laughs> we making copy. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. No English on there either. Not working. I wish it did. You could just be nice to be Phones able to. probably haven't worked in months. Oh, God knows they probably haven't, Lee. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Okay. We talked to Vernon. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Hey, Doc, uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us and for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? <sighs> Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. All right. So let's head over Mia. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. 
Are you sure about that? Uh, already cleaned out. Oh, if it only What's fit. this on the floor? It's a sonogram. Aww. Little baby. Hey, Krista. They killed yeah. the baby. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You've been throwing up. Oh, you... come on. You just dug up a rotting dog carcass. I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're going to get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... It's okay. We'll figure it out. He'll be fine. I mean, at this point, we're all timed to be able to stay here until I, I find right everything, so he, he won't die. This. this place isn't exactly safe. Then why did you? Because leaving her alone with Omi didn't seem any safer. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Krista, but Omi's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with That her, is not going to happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. You're right. I'm sorry. Look, Lee, I just want to get back to Omid. Let me do my thing, all right? Okay. okay. Chris is angry. She's going to kill me. Oh, what's in this? Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day is it Jesus? the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. As a doctor, I cannot believe he can do that. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. All right. So with that, I'm actually just going to open this door and I'm going to end the episode here. I think I actually am over. I think I am good on time. At the very least, this will be between 20 and 30 minutes. Um... Because I feel like there was a lot of dialogue that came out of this, so I feel like I probably should be over on time. Because I think... Let's see, I went from there, from the room there, to... Yeah, I did that whole beginning section, so we should be good on time. So yeah, I'm just going to stop the same place I was at before. So, um, yeah, we're going to go through there. We're going to go see if we're going to find that doctor. So yeah, so please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Uh, when we come back, ladies and gentlemen... We're going to continue this game, we're going to see what else we can find, so please do those things, and I'll see you in the next round of Walking Dead Season 1. See y'all then, thanks.